And I am here, uh, here on Wealth Street to see the results, not just of that broader effort, but of a targeted economic development strategy uh, that is supported by President Obama's economic re recovery initiatives. You all know the story of Pittsburgh, how for years it's been one of Atlanta's most blighted areas with one of the region's highest foreclosure rates and vacant and abandoned homes leading to further decline in the neighborhood. But you also know that despite its decline, the Pittsburgh community has remained tight-knit and strong and has joined forces with the Annie E. Casey Foundation to revive the neighborhood and capitalize on its existing assets, including two high-performing public schools, the Center for Working Families, and multiple community centers. Indeed, the re redevelopment taking place in Pittsburgh is emblematic of the type of collaborative, community-driven revitalization work that's happening citywide as part of the Atlanta Beltline Project. With the administration's own neighborhood stabilization program, having helped acquire eight homes right here on Wealth Street, Pittsburgh has begun to recover. Across the country, our neighborhood stabilization effort has funded about $6 billion to revitalize communities across the country. I've seen for myself the impact that these funds can have. In Charlotte, North Carolina, I saw how NSP saved an entire subdivision where only two years ago, half of the homes were in foreclosure. And thanks to neighborhood, the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, or NSP, Habitat for Humanity has already worked with the local government to buy up those homes, renovate them, and resell them to new buyers. In Detroit, which has been hit not just by the recent foreclosure crisis, but longer term distress, where there are literally tens of thousands of vacant and abandoned properties, Neighborhood Stabilization provides a different kind of opportunity. With these funds, their Mayor Bing has put in place a three-year plan to target 10,000 properties for demolition, to expand urban farming and land banking for future redevelopment. And because of our NSP investments, the first two years of Detroit's three-year initiative are already funded. For cities like Atlanta, who faced difficult decisions in the wake of the foreclosure crisis and an era in which housing finance encouraged sprawl, NSP dollars provide a real opportunity to fundamentally rethink land use and better link housing investments with jobs, schools, and transportation. To ensure that communities can benefit from these types of investments, this week I was proud to announce that the administration is asking Congress to provide, to provide additional funding for the Neighborhood Stabilization Program and that we'll be reallocating approximately $1 billion of the first round of NSP funds to drive more resources to the hardest hit communities in Atlanta and other cities around the country. I look forward to working closely with partners in Congress, uh, like uh, Congressman uh, Johnson, who's here today, as well as Congressman Lewis, to ensure that this increased NSP funding gets to the communities that need it most. And because our vast network of housing counselors continues to be one of HUD's greatest strengths when it comes to foreclosures, we will uh, invest in increased funding for uh, uh, foreclosure assistance and counseling as well. I want to say, finally, that you all have our commitment to be the kind of partner who listens and learns that will come get on the ground uh, into communities like Pittsburgh and bring the resources but also the tools and the partnership that you need to succeed. Uh, we will be a driving force in helping this community continue to reemerge uh, that has been left in the wake of the foreclosure crisis uh, like too many communities around the country. When we came into office, we had seen 30 straight months of housing prices decline across the nation. And we have begun to turn that around. Since April of last year, homeowners across the country have rebuilt over a trillion dollars in home equity. But too many communities like Pittsburgh remain in the wake of that crisis. Our neighborhood stabilization funding, along with uh, selling FHA homes, we saw one just up the street today, selling them to a dollar uh, to the Pittsburgh community to be able to make sure that they can be a source of revitalization. We will be the kind of partner, President Obama will be the kind of partner that is here on the ground in Atlanta to make sure this community reemerges stronger and better 
uh, than it was before this crisis began. We are your partners, and we look forward to continuing to work with you to make this uh, P Pittsburgh community the community that you all envision. Thank you very much. <laughs>